guys welcome back to my channel I have the scary dead zombie Halloween makeup tutorial for you guys and it is really creepy so first I'm starting off with this white face paint that I got from a $2 shop you can get face paint from like warehouse stationery the warehouse craft shops $2 shop and I'm just painting this all over my face with a foundation brush and these brushes are easy to apply it with because it's just a long flat shader brush and I'm making sure to blend that all down my neck I'm now using a white face powder from Avon and I'm going to set that um, face paint and it's also going to keep it in place and make it not crease. I'm now having some latex and I'm putting this on my mouth. I got this latex from Trade Me and it wasn't that expensive it was quite affordable and I'm using an old beauty blender sponge it's not like a real beauty blender and I'm using this cotton wool and I'm sticking this on top of the latex and what you want to do is just lay down some latex put down the cotton wool making sure it's not too thick and then laying some latex on top of that again and you want to make sure your sponge that you're using is not like new or good because the latex will stick to it and ruin it and I'm doing this across the whole mouth. I'm just working in small sections so the latex doesn't dry quickly. And then I'm pulling some cotton down, creating that like stitched up teeth look. And then you want to make sure that all the cotton wool is covered in latex. And I'm just going to repeat the process. I'm putting latex down and then ripping off some cotton wool and then sticking it in little bits like this. It almost looks like a moustache. And I'm just repeating this on the other side and then I'm making sure to coat it in latex again so then it can dry hard. You don't want it to be soft or anything or then it's going to be hard to paint and it's just going to be flimsy. So now I'm taking this red face paint. These paints weren't that great by the way. They were quite sheer so I had to build them up quite a bit. And I'm using the same brush and I'm putting this all underneath on my lips. And I'm also taking the black and I'm adding some more dimension because that face paint looked like orange. So I'm putting black on top of that and making sure to extend it out the sides. Then I'm making sure to add more cotton ball wool in the gaps and putting it out the sides as well. I wanted my mouth to extend quite a way across my face. And then I'm doing the same process to the bottom. So laying down latex, putting on the cotton wool, putting on uh, latex again and then I'm adding more cotton wool in the gaps of my mouth because I didn't want too much gaps so then yeah covering those gaps and then putting on the latex on top to take some scare blood this isn't like runny fake blood this is like chunky gel blood and I'm putting this all in between the gaps to make it look like a bleeding inside mouth and this scare blood was quite affordable as well I got it from trade me and I'm just putting this on with a small like spoolie brush I don't know exactly what this brush is called and I'm putting it in between the gaps and then I'm taking some black as well because it needed some more dimension and darkness so I'm just popping that in with the same brush. Now you want to grab your brush that you applied your white face paint with and you want to paint over that latex because it gives like a yellow cast when it dries. So to blend it in you just want to put the white face paint over top and make sure you blend it downwards. Now I'm using my BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette and I love this because it's got all the colours you need and I'm taking this red colour and this purpley colour and I'm putting this all around the mouth to add some dimension. Now I'm taking this black shade from the palette and I'm using this as my contour colour. This makes me look really like skeletal and dead. I tried to use like a normal contour colour but it did not look right so I'm just using a black and I'm putting that all around the forehead and in the places where you'd normally contour your face. I'm now taking this dark blue colour, this black and this purple. First I started just with the dark blue but it didn't really look right so then I layered on top the dark purple and the black to make it look more like dead. Then you 
want to put a black eyeliner in your waterline, I'll do that off camera because I can't do that on camera. And then I use the black as well and I add that to the mouth which made it look way more realistic and more gruesome. And you kind of want to do like vertical lines to mimic the shape of like teeth almost. And then I'm taking this flat shader brush from Sigma and using the black um, eyeshadow and uh, making those jaw bones more prominent like a skeleton and I'm also drawing around my forehead as well and blending it into my hairline just to make it look more skeletal I guess and dead and I'm also doing that around the jawline to make it look more defined and sharp and creating almost like a bum chin at the end and I'm using the black eyeshadow to make some frown lines but it didn't really look right so at the end I kind of blend it in and then I'm just putting like a black bit at the bottom of my nose as you can see here I'm bleeding it in with the white but I kind of looked liked the way it looked when I put it over top now I wanted some more blood in so I took a big hunk of the um, scare blood and put it in so it looks almost like little blood clots or something and I smear it all over the mouth and under my eyes as well this made it look like I was bleeding from the eyes and it just made it look more scary and gruesome and then I'm using this runny fake blood which was quite dark so it was perfect to put all inside the mouth and around the mouth and stuff and you want to make sure you don't swallow this um, it just kind of went on my lips and then I'm just smudging it down my neck to make it look more zombified so I put in these black contacts and this is the final look I think it looks way better with the contacts and this is a really creepy look so I hope you guys liked it don't forget to share this and if you do recreate this look then don't forget to hashtag me on Instagram Alicia Jones and yeah give this thumbs up and leave me a comment on how you liked it <laughs> and yeah so i'll see you guys in my next week's video and don't forget to subscribe either i upload every monday and yeah i'll see you guys in my next week's video bye